every Saturday. Y'all know we do here at WFBR 1590. Every Saturday from 11 to 12, me and Kingsley, we strive to bring power, dignity, and class back to our communities. King, I always say King. What I always say King? King, class, right? Class, yeah. I always say class, because I believe class is missing. Like school on East, on Easter. Yeah, school on Easter, King, no class. Class. No class. You roll your blunts out all wide openly, walking down the streets, your tail out, your butts out, and you're talking about this fashion. Yes, yes, it's nudity almost. You get me, King? Yeah. Again, I say, King, class is missing. King, uh, King, I think we're going to almost go on a slight history tour for a second, okay. opening the show. You know what I mean? Because I said that I was going to title the show today. You asked me to title the show, and I was going to title the show The Old Against the Young. Because there was a theory King came out about in the, what was the 1800s maybe or something in the nature when yeah. we first got conscious of English and the way the Americans had us, you know, we had to learn certain, yeah. you know, dialect and learning the language here. So they came up with a theory back in that time. It was called the Willie Lynch theory. Okay, yeah. King? Mm -hmm. It was called the Willie Lynch theory. And we ran off of that Willie Lynch theory. It was called uh, putting a... Uh, the young against the old, mm -hmm. the light against the dark, yes. the house against the, um, the the guy that worked outside made his job seem like his job was, uh, 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 they made it seem like the outside guy's job was the worstest job you had. The King. house leave, yeah, the yeah. leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's called a Willie Lynch story. Well, King, what I see going on right now in Baltimore is the Willie Lynch story come to fruition. We have the old against the young, King. We have Sheila Dixon. We have Sheila Dixon, and she basically has the older, middle class older. Brandon Scott has the young. That's separation right there. That's actually uh, 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 um, part of the Willie Lynch story in the system, King, separating us, keeping us bound in uh, arguing and feuding against us with our uh, different views and things of that nature, King, because you got something um, we're going we're gonna to slide in and, you know what I mean, we're going to go back and forth with what you got, King, but it all ties into the Willie Lynch story, King. Yeah, yeah. You know, because again, I say, you know, you know, we, 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 we say um, that, uh, I was talking about that when we came in, King, about how only the black community is talking about, oh, that's old school. We have said that on several shows before. Mm -hmm. But we clearly know that everything old is how things are. Yeah. I mean, again, we still boil water the same way. It doesn't change. You can change the name of it. You can put the sterner on it. You can have a non-flameless stove or something of that nature. But in the end result, you're doing what? Boiling water. Boiling water. You get me, King? Yes, I do. So, um, King, give me a little bit of what we were talking about. You wrote down your this what you said the other day because this ties into that, and I like the way you um brought that out. Give me a good paragraph of that, King. Real All right, fast. The, Start family, it off. Uh, the family structure. Yeah, go ahead, King. Okay. Um, this report came out in 1965, um, and it was and it was presented by Daniel Patrick Moynihan. Moynihan. Uh, M O Y N I H I M. Okay, and in the report, he titled the report "The Negro Family: A Case for National Action." Mm -hmm. National action means something. Go ahead. National action means yeah, yeah it's a problem. It means something. Problem. Okay, um, he says, and I quote: "The fundamental problem is that of the family structure. The Negro family in the urban ghettos is crumbling. A middle class group." Uh, elites has so made. Right there, King. Say that again. Our middle, a middle class, class group. A middle class group has managed to save itself. What, what color are those people he talk about? Black. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, King. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, but for the vast numbers of the unskilled and poorly educated, the fabric of conventional relationships has all but disintegrated. So long as this conditions. I mean, this condition persists. The cycle of poverty and disadvantage will continue to repeat itself. Stop right there for a minute, King. Yeah. You said, I want to focus on that group of people. You said that okay. will 
Man, is their way out. Are okay. we talking about our elites, our entertainers with money and things that now who are claiming to be those folks of wants to be? Go ahead, King. Yes. Um, a middle class group has managed to save itself. Save itself. Itself. So right there is, um, there, there, there's your support for your willing my, For my willingness story. That's why, that's, why, that's why I said when you, when we brought that up, we sat down and we talked about that this week, King. And I had told you where I was going. And I said, let me tell you my story. And then you got to read that off. I said, this is all attached to the whole thing of, of the whole Willie Lynch theory. Yes. You know what I mean? Because when you um, when you look at it, you know what I mean? King, my, 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 my granddaughter's supposed to call in today because she's doing something special today. Okay. So I'm going to see if this is her and everything. But, uh, King, I'm glad we brought that in. We're going to keep diving into this, King. I got a caller. Who's the caller? Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles. Yes, how you doing today? Hey, Brother Charles, how you doing, man? You know how we feel, man. How you doing, man? Is something on your mind or give it to us your way, man? Give it to us. Yeah, I just want to, I just want to scream you. Everything that King we read off is the Victorian workhouse. Everything that y'all are discussing is the Victorian workhouse. This is the imprint of Europe. And so y'all don't understand it. You know, this is the Victorian workhouse. It's not the Willie Lynch story because the Willie Lynch story is not real. Okay. It's fake. Yakub is real. Okay. So Check out the Yakub story. Okay, okay. But let's get back to the Victorian workhouse. Go ahead. Everything that y'all are saying, that whole thing that you read is the Victorian workhouse. When you talk about, you know, these ghettos, where did the ghettos come from? From the Victorian workhouse and from the dead prisoners. Go ahead. Keep going. We're listening to you. Give it to us. You good? Mr. Charles. I think we lost Mr. Charles, but he probably called back in. He got something on his mind. He want to get off his chest. Can you? Did you understand what he was talking about or anything? Yeah, I did. Go I ahead, get King. what he's saying. You know, he's saying that um, these mindsets come from Europe and, you know, the ghettos, because that's where the ghettos were born at in Europe and things like that, and then they brought them over here. Um, and they of course, the mindset? well, they brought that ghetto mindset over here, yeah. yeah. And then they um, built up the projects, yeah. and that's where they moved us to, which is the modern day ghetto of how they was. If you ever look at the ghettos back in England, yeah. that's where the Rothschilds built their wealth from, yeah, because they were poor. I mean, when I say poor, they were in the ghettos and they were living like. Foot to mouth well, the for Germans rent. had built a wall around the Hold on, this is before right? no, that? This is, this before, before that? Him. Okay, yeah. right, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I okay, do. Right, yeah. okay. And basically what he did was, if I'm not mistaken, he had five sons. And he sent his five sons out to all the banks in Europe. Mm -hmm. And basically he was, he was the one who was like, give us control of your money. Um, I don't care who's in power. Yeah, I just yeah, need yeah. control I think of your money. money. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then he sent his sons out there, and they did it, and of course, you mm -hmm. know, going to the war and some of the things that they did to get rich. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, with the Napoleon War, um, reporting that, you know, the British had lost mm -hmm. when they actually had um, won, you know, mm -hmm. just manipulating the markets and things like that. Oh, okay, but okay. But when he goes back to that, the, the, the point that we're trying to make, Mr. Charles, and anybody else that's listening, is that, even though this this report took place in 65, it could be Victorian. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you. Again. Go ahead, I'm go. looking at our conditions today. Thank King. And King. 60 years later. Yeah. 60 years later. Yeah. That's what after I'm this about. report. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. We're still living in these conditions, See? and I and I and I chose the word. I'm like, yeah. and I like the word disadvantage yeah. because disadvantage yeah. is the words that mm -hmm. they're currently using today mm -hmm. to advance their progressive the disadvantage. Huh? Yeah, their progressive agenda, mm -hmm. and you know, King, I think that you yeah. know a history lesson needs to be given. I, I'm not gonna mm -hmm. say it, you know. We're going to get some more into it, King. Okay. Like I said, we're going to talk about it. We lost Mr. Charles and everything, King. But, um, again, uh, King, um, the wraparound services I want to talk about real fast, King. You know, again, I think they might have just bribed the young man that got murdered. and Murdered. I'm going to say murdered. I ain't going to say all that old stuff. Murdered in front of the hot, um, hotel. It might be just getting put in around the, in the ground. And do y'all know about the new G? What is it again? GRS? Uh, no, it's the GVRS, Gun 
I'm a group violence reduction strategy. Do you know that some of these young men, some of y'all might not know it, some of these young men are walking around who are straight murderers of black people with a letter, a promissory letter, saying that I won't do this again. Yeah, I was going to say that you Did uh, y'all know that? Yeah. Y'all didn't know that, huh? I, I got it down here. Yeah. Some mayor. of these young men in our community that murdered some of our cousins, fathers, brothers, sisters. Our sisters and babies are being shot now. Okay, brothers was once on the target. Now the whole black race is on the target for the black people. Okay. Try me, try me. I'm going to kill your whole goddamn who? Family. Family. See what I'm talking about? See the rhetoric that go even to our music. You give me, so again I say, King, wow, King. Let me read it to you. Boy, King, give, me, give it to me real quick. The mayor sends letters to the assailants telling them to take advantage of the GVRS or Boy, face King. jail time if caught again. Ho, oh, King. Oh, right there, King. Ain't nothing more to be said. I got that. one question, actually. He clearly said on television. Yes. He knows who he, the murderers are. He, he said that. We have, hey, we are in. Hey, look, man. You talk about Donald Trump. You talk about Donald Trump. Well, this is black strategy, like Donald Trump in a certain sense. You want to keep talking about Donald Trump is so vicious and this and that. Well, look what we're doing to our own. A promissory letter. And guess where you send them back out? To the same community and the people who family can see can see him every day. That is a boiling mint, and you're talking about a revolving door. Who's creating a revolving door? Our own black leaders. Do I have a caller? Good morning. You get me, King? King, I was, that was on my mind real heavy. You mean we talked about that, King? Yeah. How are you? What's your name? Yeah, King, I tell you, man, wow, the revolving door, King. Who's creating it? Who's creating it, King? Have what? a caller? Caller. Mine. News. Hey, Ma, how you doing? Ma, give it to us. Ma, something on your mind? Or is this, did you hear the show? Yeah, what I'm, you talking about? I'm just going to tell you about the powwow. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yep, I know go it's ahead. off your subject, but no, I go ahead. Give it to know us. that we had a excellent time down in Hollison, North Carolina Great. last weekend at the Indian Powwow, Saponi, Hollowah Tribe. Uh, a lot of my family members that I got to see from different areas. I got to uh, visit my 101-year-old aunt. Great, great. And uh, we had such a marvelous time. We went on Friday and returned on Sunday. Did they do the big and dance, Mom? everybody Ma? asked for the rest of the family. They thought that you all were going to show up, yeah. but I told them that circumstances right, kind of right. take people away wow. from doing what they would like to do. That's right, that's right. But that's they right. send love to you. Good, good, good. Mom, did they do the big powwow dance and everything? Everything. Oh my God! They had different tribes, different uh, ladies, young people, older people great, that great, were out great. there doing the tribal dances. Yeah, the tribal dances, King. Tribal and dances, their King. and their headdress and their fas fashions were, I mean, they were so colorful and and beautiful. Is one of our family members still the chief? Uh, well. Uh, Mr. Richardson, I don't know if he, well, the Richardsons, that's who we are, mm -hmm. but I don't, I've never met him. He could be, but I've never really oh, okay, talked okay, to okay, him. Okay, okay, okay. But a lot of our families are in that. I know, I know. But, uh, but I was going to say also with your uh, topic on the uh, killings up there, um, I, I don't understand how we as a people won't come together and march about these that issue up there. Our own issue. That's uh, right. Go ahead. Our uh, own issue. Go ahead, ma. Go ahead. And not only just our people, any race of people that's tired Good of call. it will come together and march for what's going on in Baltimore and the other cities. But I think because people won't tell on each other, they won't divulge information that can help solve crimes, I think they're afraid of retaliation, and they won't say anything. But there is such a thing that the police department say if you come forth and if you give information, they will not let 
the perpetrator know that you did it. Ma. So yeah. you're living, people are living in cities in fear of mm -hmm. these young people. Mm -hmm. And I just was amazed at what you all were saying about this letter. Well, that's what I was just going to King. People. Let King tell you some more about the GVR situation. King, give me a little mom a little bit more on the GVR thing about the letters and, and, and all the madness that make doesn't make sense. Now they're releasing these kids okay. back to the community again now. Well, Look, that's he, because these murderers. He, he believes in reducing crime without um, mass incarceration, and this has been the philosophy of all the mayors across the country, and you can actually see it playing out in your city, my city, uh, and all cities that are ran by these democratic, progressive yeah. black people. They all have this one, um, one stroke fix fits all approach to everything and it's not working yeah. and because he believes in non-mass um, mass incarceration yeah. this is why he's lying to us this is exactly yeah. why yeah. no citations have gone out Let to these squeegee run. kid guys but yet he's running an ad talking touting success how he used mm -hmm. the squeegee kids and turned them around and he's using that and saying that that's a success he's actually using the squeegee kids as a model a, of success. As a model of success. Mm. These people killed somebody yeah, last yeah, year yeah, and yeah. assaulted others yeah. and robbed others. Yeah. Now, not all of them was are that like that. Was that kids in the back seat? His kids was with His him. kids in the back seat. Can and you imagine? That's, but, why we, that's why we go ahead, Ma. Go ahead, kids. Go, but go, what go. is the mentality of if an adult create a crime, you immediately will give them sentences. Oh, yeah, immediately. But now you have the younger generation that's committing these crimes, and then you want to give them a pat on the head, mm -hmm. and, and, and you want to, it's almost like you restructuring uh, the criminal justice system yeah, for yeah. these young yeah, people. Yeah, for assailants, the city and, of assailants. And it's not fair, yeah. because there's not, if, if you as a, a, a young adult choose to murder, you choose to steal, you, you 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 do all of these things that's that that's not right in the community and it's not productive and that's the thing that gets me. Where is the production? Where is the productive? Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Well, that's we. Hey, well, go, hey, ma. I'm gonna have to let you go over here, ma. Okay. Thank you, ma. Well, enjoy you. your day. I'll keep listening. Yes, thank you, ma. Love you. Go ahead, King. Go ahead, King. Get to me real fast. Get King. All right, all right, all right. But anyway, again, King. Again, I said when mom kick it in. You know, mine gives it a, you know, a different way, you know, a different, it ain't even a different understanding. It's actually how things should be in a certain sense. You know what I mean? Where are the people that say no to some things? Where, cut and dry. Where are the people who will question what we are personally doing in our community? This ain't got nothing to do with, like with Charles said, as soon as we talk, we're talking about our communities, and Brother Charles went straight over to York. And again, you I get, get me. It. I but get a philosophy is, that you can use from certain things, well, but this is, I'm focused this is everything on here, here in my town. Well, you know how go I get down, Ty, and this is what I see as the problem with our with, 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 with the black race. It's like if I bring up a situation and I'm telling you about it. You want to wing me off into something else. And Tell I'm just sitting here like that, that has absolutely nothing Thank to you. do with what we're doing. Thank you. Stop telling me about what can we do to solve the problem. If every time I come to the table with a solution what about this? To, to solve the problem, here you come telling me about what happened in yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. We haven't learned call, from our history. This call, is call. why your voters in Baltimore are dumb, they're led astray, mm -hmm. and they're perfectly okay with it because they don't know their history. Again, hold on, Tom. Again, part of this letter, the reason why I brought this up is because it was taking place in 1965. We're in 2024, and yet the same exact thing is taking place. I'm taking their words, disadvantage. If that isn't a clue that this was a progressive <laughs> Dude, policy the same thing back then, over and, and over, over and over again, King, go again, go again, get to me, fact. Is it ironic that, as ironic as it may be, the black family started to break down? In between 1960 and 65. Yeah, Before yeah. then, the, the the marriage rates was through the roof. Through they the didn't roof. care about um, uh, 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 how much money you had. You had. And the third. It wasn't the family, about that. The family was the, was the key to it. it was the key. And, and, but instead, um, you know, and, and, and between and 1960 and 65, this is about when the blacks started 
um, gravitating towards the Democratic Party, known as the Dixiecrats, mm -hmm. joining the party of the K. K K. See, y'all keep talking about uh, uh, racists and, re and everything is racist. Can, can I give it that? Can I give please, it that? Please give it. Can I give it that? Please give it. As much as we talked about the KKK and violence, guess who you joined when you joined the Democratic Party? As much. See, this is your ignorance. This is your ignorance. This is your trick knowledge that that um that the nation and then and, and Malcolm used to always say trick knowledge. This is trick knowledge given to you. You have joined the KKK. That's why from time to time, they slide out words. Yeah, he gonna put you in chains again. Yeah, exactly. You remember that? That's the old Dixie crack. See, he was one of the members. Yeah, your, yeah. Your current president, see, see, jo see, Joe Biden, see, see, is a Dixie crack. He, he came from that stock. King, that was, hey, we, hey, King, when we sat down this week and we went into this, that was good, um, good, uh, um, um, um. But, you know, but I ain't yeah, done. Yeah, that was good. I know we ain't done, King. I, I know we ain't done. done. But, oh, King, um. Give me the website real fast, Ken. Sure. We I know we're um, done, though. Give me the website real fast. <laughs> yeah, WFBR1590.com. Check it out. Website. You can also call in at 410 761 1592. Or you could um, you can join the tune in app at WFBR Radio 1590 AM. You can also find us at K Thoughts, K A E T H O U G A, I mean O U G H T S. Um, you can find us on Rumble. And YouTube and our podcast um, no longer um, anchor because Spotify brought them out. So it's okay. just Spotify, Google, and um, iHeartRadio. Mm -hmm. King, I got to call her real fast. I want to see if that might be my granddaughter. She want to call in and give a little something in real fast. Then we're going to get back to the website real fast and we'll finish that off. Yeah. Who's calling? Mr. Charles again? Yeah. Mr. Charles. Yeah, how you doing? Mr. Sorry, Charles, give me out one second. I'm going um, to finish up my website, then I'm going to cut you right on and Go ahead, King. And we have a couple of... i finish with that one. Yeah, go ahead, King. Well, we got a couple of um, uh, uh, shows here at WFBR besides. Yeah, all week, pretty much, that do um, great programming. Brother Dern's right behind us. Um, Stay to the know, city. Stay to the city and uh, great music. You know I love the old school music. I three six sing that all day long. But um, brother Charles, we lost you for a minute. But I'm gonna give you a quick moment to go ahead and finish off your um, your statement. Go ahead, brother Charles. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I did get cut off. But um, evidently, y'all had a couple questions, and I wanted to, to answer the questions. But I, like I said, the Willie Lynch is not real. That's fake. Okay. And a lot of stuff that y'all are talking about is stuff that happened in the past, and y'all are not correlating it with the present because y'all haven't researched the past. Okay. But, but what questions did y'all have? No, we already, we already, that was it, Brother Charles. You've already I given us and everything, but I'm going to let you go on that, Brother no, Charles. Hold on, Thanks hold on, for being a statement. Go ahead, King. Go ahead, yeah, talk. Now, you were saying something about that Victorian, yes? Yeah, the Victorian Workhouse, yeah. Okay, so explain that a little bit more so that we can be caught up to speed with that Victorian Workhouse. All right, the Victorian Workhouse is where we get welfare and all That's the cool, different yeah. social programs that yes. we have. See, the Victorian Workhouse is where the poor people went or where people were incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So they were um, given jobs, sent to the military, sent to school, sent to all these different places from a board. It was a central mm -hmm. board, and that board controlled everybody's lives. But when the people came into the workhouse, the men were separated from the women, the wives were separated from the husbands, and the children were separated from the parents. And see, when we talk about the artful dodger and all these other stories, this is what they actually experienced over there. And what they're making us experience today. Okay. Okay. The okay. pickpockets, the thieves, and everything else. Okay. And see, they were expelled from Europe and sent to America okay. as indentured mm -hmm. servants. Okay. Thank and you, Brother Charles. Yeah, thank you. So that's thank what I wanted you to clarify. for. Go I keep, appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, King. Yeah. Hey, King, yeah, thanks for the question. And you know what's so funny what he just described? Is what Brandon Scott and them is calling wraparound services today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brother Charles. The King. very thing that he just said, King. Victorian Workhouse, is nothing more than the wraparound services that they're offering today. You yeah, know? King, I tell you, King, uh, of course, Cook always calls in and text me and give a comment on certain things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, again, uh, 
Thank you, Brother Charles. You know, we always, uh, and I ain't going to say unique way of saying things because you take that personal when I say that. We having a conversation, and if um, someone says that your way of thinking, especially, then it's your way of thinking. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing hurtful about doing this. I don't mean no disrespect when I say that. But I, but I always appreciate it. Go ahead, King. I want to get this off, and I want to get King, your perspective Go ahead, King. Go ahead, Tip real fast. I'm going to public service in a moment. Yeah, just to get this off. I go was ahead. saying that... Um, uh, they gravitated towards the Democratic Party, which was known as the Dixiecrat, joining ah. the party of the KKK, ah. the Ku Klux Klan, to advance the progressive yeah. policies yeah. to destroy the black family. Yeah. What do you think about that? Well, we already talked about that, King. It's actually right now face. Thank you. It's right now face every day. You know what the I mean? The destruction. And the these progressiveness is ruining our family, and telling is, your children not to listen to the parents. And who are the people that's pushing this progressiveness? Telling, telling only us that we can't beat our children and things of that nature, and then using the term of um, abuse. No, ain't no such thing as abuse when I got a whip well, this tail. Uh, you still haven't told me who's the one that's doing this. See, we, we got, again, this is what we it's talk about. It's our it, black it, elites? What do you it, mean? What do you mean? It, it, it's our it, black it, elites. Uh, well, so thank you. That's it's, again. It, it, it's the people who we are putting in place. Yeah. Again. These people have been installed as your leaders. Comedians on the, on the air every day talking like they really got our back, but as he say something serious, he throw a, a, a joke at the end of it. Be you honest. really don't mean what you mean. Again, I say all those black men that's on the air and act like they, um, they ain't black, they, they still black. No, they rich now. Well, I want to, and I'm glad you said that, Ty, because that goes into this here, what now, I was saying. King. 1960 to 65, I'm, I'm stuck on that number. You know why? Because, again, blacks wanted to join the Democratic Party, but the white man wanted to segregate. But black progressives wanted to integrate. This is what led to the civil rights movements where our black Same leaders again. were installed and contro to control the black masses. You're talking about our Congressional Black Caucus. This is who we're talking about. Yeah, King. We're talking about our mayors, King. our city hall people. These are the people who have been installed and put in place. Yeah. You know, this all of this came off of the backs of that letter that we seen put out there because it was a call of action. And it was a white man that called it the action because he saw a problem taking place in King. the black community. How do you think they're going to feel about this since we exposed that they had joined the Klan? How you think these these folks gonna feel they about gonna this? They gonna say that they don't care. They are alright with it because that was yesteryear, and now we in control. You yeah. can see, but you <laughs> see, policies, huh? but you see <laughs> how, but you see how racism jumped from <laughs> one, from one race to the other. Yeah, and they yeah, keep yeah. saying that black people can't be racist. But I told you we're the number one racist. Every time I hear these progressive people talk, because Brandon Scott came every out on TV this week. And said that, you yes, know, yes, I hate to say yes. this because my people yes, are going to say this and that, yes, but yes, most yes, of the yes. money is going to the, to white, the white establishment. establishment. Yes, right. Now, which got me because he's the one that's in control of the checks well, that go that, out. But for that statement, he was giving it to him. King, again, let me start with my public service now. You know please, I got to give it up, please. King. Sorry, Again, sis. here at um, WFR, King, because we had a situation. Yeah, we did. We had a, we had a situation this week. Yes, we did. Already. Already, the, the streets are lit up already with the, um, Jones. again, I say, here at WFER, we sent out a public service now. It's called the Wild Squeegee Alert Crossing, Steve. Yeah. If you're coming in through the top of Maryland, through Garrett County, if you end up to the bottom of Tawny Town, and definitely if you're in, in Baltimore, mm -hmm. far as I know, yeah. in my hometown, if you end up anywhere in Baltimore, beware of the Wild Squeegee Crossings. If you run up on them, King, don't give them no eye contact. No eye contact. If you roll your window down, and give your phone to a stranger and things goes crazy. King, what we say here? Hey, take it on the chin. Take it on the chin. Go home, tell your wife, and tell your wife, say, you know what? Hey, get out the ice. You know, why you need ice? Cause my eye hurt you. Yeah. Somebody punched me in the face. Yeah. Punch in the face, what you do? I rolled my window down, baby, and gave my phone to a stranger. All right, take, take it on the chin, go home. If it doesn't go that way, King, proceed through the light. Give them a good description and call police. That's our weekly wild squeegee alert. King, again, King, what happened with that white man when he got killed? And what was in the back seat when he His got killed? His children were back there. His children were in the back seat of that car. And we saw an old woman so the that first thing in you the face. Saying, the first thing we say, oh, he took a bat out. Well, it was a lot of brothers that was going to do that before him, mm -hmm. but he just was the first one that got it done. All right, and I'm sorry mm -hmm. to say, but it was children and stuff in the cars, King, and women being beat over dirty, what kind of change? Ash change. Ash change. Everybody has ass changing their car, they smoke. 
Yeah. Everybody know what I'm talking about. They got the little cup holder with the acid that they pluck in there, and it's usually some corns in there. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. I ain't speaking foreign language. Yeah. Thank you, King, again, here at WFBR every Saturday. Brother Sean's open. I asked him to call in because I want them to give up. Oh, he is open today? Yeah, he is open. Oh, okay. Texas said he opened. Um, Brother More Better Blue is open. Um, Oh, King, but that meal was serious. Man, that meal was serious last week. Oh, my good, that what? Y'all need to go out there and the fish King, I was eating on that meal 8 o'clock the next night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it literally was enough for two people. Oh, my goodness. That was a good meal. We going out there when we leave here today. Does anybody need a good meal on Saturday? It's been hours of 11 and 7. Get out to Liberty Road in Milford. You have to go up. I think you got to go up. Oh, you got to go up Forest Park uh, for, Drive and then, and then make, come around and then the come around. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, make a loop. Just look for it. It's not the brother that's on the corner of Liberty Heights. No, he's in. You got to go up in, in the there. community, yes. But, uh, bro, oh, man, uh, what a meal, King. What a what meal. What a meal. Brother Kenny, Impressions Barbershop on uh, Rice Town and um, uh, Park Heights. Uh, make you still looking for apprentices, uh, barbers to come on in if you need a uh, spot. That's a beautiful spot too. Yeah. It's huge. Yes, yes, yes. Huge. Really huge, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. So you can, I mean, enough to. He yeah, actually so have a beauty salon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah. Wash he got, hair. I think he do. He got. He got beauty salon. Yeah, he got everything yeah, in there. Wash hair and everything. You so, get the um, full treatment. Hot. He's Hot looking cows. for some barbers yeah. and some beauticians or whatever. Oh, you know what I mean? Maybe a maintenance guy. Who knows? It's a it's a it's um a business. Yeah. They need maintenance too. Who knows? So um get on up there and check out brother Kenny, man. To everybody else, man. Um, to the lifers, the brothers that are locked up for life, man, and stuff of that nature. King, we're gonna talk about my brother Donnell, man. Um, been locked up since 1985. Again, I say, John Hinckley Jr. came home, and Donnell still locked up. And King, remember I said Marilyn Moses was in the office all this time. She touted that she was going to save brothers. She was going to bring brothers out. And that three-time news of law was a damn shame and all that stuff. And none of our brothers got out of prison. But she got Adnan Sayyad out. It was a political move. It wasn't about your brothers. See, that's a fake stunt. Remember, King, I said a couple shows again about the mist of black unity? It's over top of all of us. This mm -hmm. this fake mist of black unity. Well, again, I, I just wore it out. I just said, because I was a wrestling with some of these guys. I'm going to be honest. Some of these guys are locked up for 25, 30 years, King. And the last charge they got was for a dime of weed. And it was the three-time loser law. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She got none of those young men out in Baltimore City that's in Maryland prisons right now. But she got Adnan Sayyad out. It's something about the murderer that they attracted to or something, seems like it. Anytime you give a murderer a slip and tell him go home and promise not to do it again. Could you imagine giving it to Ted Bundy? Ted Bundy, a murder slip, huh, King? You are deep people. This is insanity at its highest level. And we are caught in the Willie Lynch understanding. The old against the black. When the, when the, the young. well, you know what I mean. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, the yeah. old against the young. When we go to the ballots this year, that's what our votes are being split up in the community this year. Because the old are saying, "Look, I ain't got no problem about arresting up a bad person, black, white, or green." The young mm -hmm. saying, "Give them chances after chances." Well, the old saying, "He had his chances. She had her chances." That's why we at this point. Am I right, King? Most likely, before you really get jail time, you've had your chances. And the reason I'm saying that, I'm living proof. I'm living proof. They gave me chances, but I kept going. <laughs> so, F, excuse my language, dismiss that. Oh, no. They've given you, you've had chances. But I chose another direction, kept going, until somebody stopped me. Remember I always talk about the Brahma Bull King? Mm -hmm. If you don't stop that bull that comes out on um, on Pennsylvania Avenue, every now and then, every year, a bull escapes from the slaughterhouse on Pennsylvania Avenue. And if some men don't get out there, no, you heard what they say? Some men. If some men don't get out there and wrestle that bull down, 
he going to tear up. He might end up in Martin Dom and tear it hey, up. The feminists said they could take down the bull now. The feminists, huh? Yeah, the feminists. We're going to sit back and run date on them. We're going to run date on them while he run up there and see You know, they're going to take a holistic approach because they don't need men anymore. We useless. That's what they said. Good call. Can you got anything you want to elaborate on? I sure do. Can get to me. Get to me. Well, in 2022, BML, Black Lives Matter, said um, a part of their mantra was to destroy the ah, nuclear family. See, everything we're going to talk about mm. today has to do with the family mm. and how we got mm. to where we got to. Okay. Around that 1960 to 65 that I keep banging on, um, that's around the time that welfare and all that stuff was starting to be talked about and introduced. So, um, welfare was introduced during these times with the... With the rule stating, if the man was in the house, then the woman would Good not man. receive Any her business. welfare check or her food stamps. Ah. Okay? Yeah. Um, right now, our community, our black communities, the least married. Our women, black women, are the least married. Yeah. You want to know why? <laughs> Let me tell look you. Look it, look An experiment was conducted by a black woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay? It's crazy. And... Well, it was her and a man, but she asked 100 black women, would they rather have a broke man, but he's around to take care of his kids, or somebody who was financially stable, but will only pay child support? She asked 100 women. The woman started to cry because every last woman, all 100, said that they wanted the financial man. They wanted the check. They didn't want the man that no. was going to be there That's to right. take care of his kids. That's they right. just wanted the check. Yes. This is why our community is in the is in the is in the tank. The this black is man why is still we buying here. his kid. He's buying his kid He's back. He's buying time to see He's his kid. Buying his kid back. He yes. has to spend 18, money to, spend to see his kids. Years. This is why black women are the least married. So all this stuff about how we're crossing over and we're doing this and we're doing that, you know what? Sometimes you got to cross over to see exactly what the hell what's you're missing. On? What's, what's going Sometimes on? you got to get a passport and fly to another country to get treated like a king yeah. to know that, you know what, yeah. you're being treated like a pauper. Yeah. And then when these women, these I women... I calling you no king. And these women sit here and he they no talk. Who he Again, I just, you just used the example. I ain't a bull I ain't is in the street shoot. tearing it up. Tearing it up. And you got women out here telling us that men are useless, that we have basically run our course. We are toxic. But when, it, when, but when excuse me, the crap hits the fan, it is a man who you looking for to clean it up. King, mommy said this week, we had a conversation on the phone. She said... We, you people. said the men, King. She said the women are in trouble now. Yes, they are. They coming even for y'all, too. Yes. They want this utopian society that doesn't consist of neither gender. That's right. This is insanity. This is insanity. All right? Now, and guess who's ushering this in? Black people. Black folks. This AI. Ms. Jones, let me give you your kudos. King, what y'all say we are? The dumping grounds for bad ideas. We got a, all these Good dudes call, are sitting King. at home with artificial intelligence girlfriends. They don't even know how to talk to a chick. Don't even know how to talk they to a chick. They can't even approach it. Hey, sis, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Yeah, but he on social media every day. He on social media social every day and don't know how to socialize. what it means. If you, this is what we're doing right now is social media. We're yes. talking to each other. Socialize. And we, 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 we know each other. Yeah. See, I'm not talking to God. And, 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 and if a guy in Belgium listening, it's cool. He might want he might need some help over there. Thank you, buddy. Hey, if you're in another country listening to the Tyrone Hour, hey, man, I hope you can get something out of it. Take what you can. Leave the rest alone. That's right. Because that's what I was taught, King, by the nation one time. Yeah. Nation say, you might not like everything I say. Just take the good stuff. Take the good stuff, and if it works for you, take it and run with it. Yeah. But, but the I, bad I, stuff, you can't never use that. You'll get stuck on that for eight, nine years. You, you know let why? It go. Just so you people don't understand. King, what he's saying is that's what makes you miserable. King, you're setting your skin. You get, you get stuck in a squat. <laughs> well, you huh? get stuck in a squat. You're miserable. King, again, I say thank you, Brother King. I say we wanted to go on a little educational history here when we started with the Willie. I ain't done with him. And I know, I know, I know you got a lot more, Brother. But, um, you know what I mean? King, um, go O's. 
Yeah, King. Don't say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing yet, King. I know how you feel about us. But go on. We in first hey, place. Hey, listen, man. I'm not going to keep taking King. this abuse every week, man. We in first place, King. Come on you now. Know, just because I'm a Strohs fan and we taking the beat this year, King. I always love the Orioles. You see, I got more Orioles hats than anything. I always love the Orioles. King, I got a call. I want to make sure if I get my granddaughter in because she's okay. having a parade today. I want to hope this is her. You supposed to call her. I, well, I did. I texted. Okay. She's supposed to be calling in, and she said she won't call in. You know what I mean? So I want to get her. She want to tell me about a parade and everything. So I want to get her. And I hope that's her. I got to call her. But anyway, King, I'm talking okay. about the moguls yeah. and everything, though. You know what I mean, King? And, um, you know? Yeah. Hey, hey, my sister, Leslie. Sister Leslie. Call back, sister. We'll get you right back in. Hit the phone back in. we get you in. But Kingdom O's are rolling. King, the bad thing about it, do you think they messed the young boy head up? No, I don't. They I sent him back down, too. Well, they, they sent him down because he was two for 32. He was two for 32, King. He's two for 32. He's a little frail. He's real frail, well, too, King. He, you got to understand, he, he's a son of a legend. Yeah, you're right. You're so right, you're right, the pressure right. was on, and I think that he was overthinking it, putting too much pressure on him to live up to the holiday name. You think? I, I think so, too, he King. Was, yeah, he wanted to live up to the holiday name. I'm going to get back to sports real fast, okay. King, too, if I get my sister. This is my sister. Good morning. Good morning. You know, King, but we're going to get back into sports real fast and see what Sister Leslie talking with my granddaughter. One of them, one of them will be calling in. Again, King, I say, man, thank you. And uh, we had Carla. 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 This hey. is Leslie from North Carolina. Hey, Sister Leslie from North Carolina. What's going on? Were you listening to the hey. show or is there I'm something that you want to share? We're listening to the sh Huh? Is it something you want to share? Yes, I just want to share that we've been, Side and I have been listening in this morning, and we want you guys to keep keep it going, keep it moving. We need to continue to hear the voices of the, of the people, and especially the voices of the men in our society. So keep it moving, keep it going. Thank you, sis. You guys said, you got anything? Tell Side I said hi, and Mommy called in early and everything. Thank you, sis. Hey, we're hey. listening. Thank you, thank you. Good luck you, thank on your you. parade today. That's, no, that's not, that's not, that's not them. But anyway, okay. thank you, sis. Thanks for calling in, Ed. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you, baby. King, again, you hear what she said? The voices of who? The men. Yes. The voices of the men need to be heard again. And, and not no dominant thing where it's though. See, this is where we have a challenge at, King. The new stuff with our women with this first stuff. See, when they say the voice of the men, they taking it as a, um, almost like we ready to um, do a, a heavyweight boxing match between well, men and women. I ain't talking about nothing like that. I'm talking about there's a, got to be a head of the table in every structure. But here's the problem. Go you ahead, have over-masculine women ah. who believe that they supposed to take that role. And their thing is, well, I've been doing this. Well, okay. I so get it. What? Thank you. Thank you for being the family. Against, yeah, but when you come up against somebody, a man that you know exhibit those qualities, instead of running him away, embrace him. Because all this bickering and fussing, and every time he walks through the door, you got something negative to say, that pushes him well, out. Yeah, you want to know why? You want to know why? You want to know why they leave? It's you want to know why Pop is a rolling Men stone? don't like to be bickering and feuding when they come home. You they came they, home for peace and pleasure. That's why Pop is a rolling stone. Because Which when mean? he's on the road, there's God. no drama. He's with himself. Yes. His thoughts, you know. Yes. Sometimes a, pe listen, a man, a peaceful sit, mind. A man usually sits in. Usually, kings and queens usually have time to themselves. They like to be to themselves. They're what they call contemplate a little yeah, bit. Right? Yeah, okay. King, thank you, King. King, again, thank you for the history lessons, man. And um, again, uh, you know, we always get a um, certain caller to call in and want to challenge our history knowledge. And again, I say we're not on the air. Battling the knowledge of history and who knows history. Believe it or not, we actually were saying the same thing. I, yes. I think that the, the, yes. the, the you know the, the, the deeper history comes in, yeah. but without the explanation, and that's why I push for the explanation because with that explanation, it explained exactly. Because again, it, it, it tied right into mm -hmm. wraparound services. King, again, let me go back to my sports real fast. Uh, the Ravens uh, were on the clock today this week. 
You know, we always get a corner. Something about us getting corners, King. He got a corner. We got a good, good. He's a serious dude now. Got a nice young kid. I don't know. He went, he went, he went huh? late in the draft. Well, come on, King. That's the way we had it set up now. We had it set up that yeah, way. So that we had it set up that way, King. Slim pickings, Tyson. No, why no slim pickings, King? Why no slim pickings? I think. Anytime the Redskins got a better co cornerback, it's slim pickings. So who got, they got a better cornerback what? than us? You hear about what they said the commanders are? Well, the are y'all gonna get the? Are y'all gonna steal the boy? We got Jalen. Y'all stole him. We got him. Uh, y'all y'all steal him. Oh, steal him. Listen, steal we got we got, it, we got it. We got it all. We, we got a haul. They said on the what you call them. They was like, who do you think had the best second day haul of draft picks? Yeah. They said this this the red skins, skins. Yeah, we call them the skins. We here. call them the red skins. At, at, right w, at WFBR yeah. we embrace our, we embrace our, our, Indian, our Indian yeah. brothers. And you didn't hear brother Tyrone. Yes. Darker than me. Yeah. And he got Indian in his family. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Chickawa. You heard mommy you on the phone right? talking about so the power wild and everything. Yeah. yeah. And everybody this falls yeah. in with Brother Charles always talking yes, about. Sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Everybody that's here that's of color, it was a slave. Thank you. Because I told you that not, not all my peoples were descended of slaves. Thank half you. of my family came from us, half of us was free. Thank you. So I don't know all this slavery that, that, narrative yes, that, that, you know, yes. Warren B and all Ooh, of us had to yeah. change our name to Toby. King no, we did seems like the Tyrone Hour has a problem with slavery or something. Well, it seems like the guys, Tyrone problem. It seems like those guys at the Tyrone well, Hour want to just well, forget see, about slavery. Not, not only that, but they got a problem with black people. They, they always got, talk about yeah. black people and women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually actual fact things we be talking about. We, yeah. Or things we, you know, we well, researched. Uh, when, when I was brought on, I was told that we're here to bring uh, awareness. Go ahead, get right down to us, gang. Awareness. Shock value yeah. and awareness. What's um, the number one thing? Um, personal accountability. Emotional. Emotional accountability. At its highest level in these days of time. Because yes. did you see the choking out? Um, let's talk a little um, news downtown. Yeah. Did you see the choking out of the young man down at the, um, what was that, the Royal Farms downtown? Yeah. And, you know, it's almost like that was, you know, even though that the officer came out and he put his fist up. He put his fist up. He literally put his fist up to fight the guy and lost the battle. I could, I'm going to say that part. But the brazenness of what we were talking about, we were talking about brazen yeah. crimes right now. Our people who are running our city, our black folks, are telling us that crime is going down. Um, you, um, you know, this, that, that. And remember I had a show, King, and I don't know if you were hosting with me then, but I had a show about Seeing is Believing. What no, you I was there. You were hosting Seeing yeah. is Believing. I can pull it Again, up and still um, on the computer. Is we seeing what we believe in? Because well, we're seeing the crime getting more brazen. We just had a young, uh, what was that tell you when they just ran there with guns, helped, them at, uh, helped the uh, oh. school guy at a uh, gun oh. court, and they went shopping. Yeah. Yeah, outfit for a day, huh? Now, what if that security, this, this is like, I brought this up before. It's going to be a time when one of these security officers shoot one of these kids. And the first thing you're going to say that he did something wrong. No. Well, remember, Ty, it happened already it, it, go, last year, downtown. Remember, he shot him inside the what you call him? He shot him in the head. He had, he had a machine gun. Yeah. yeah, see what I'm he saying? He was in there trying to rob him, so put it down, he shot him. I mean, are we yeah, not yeah. seeing black people on television saying I'm scared to come outside? Well, you got to understand. Are we not seeing this, King? Well, you got to understand. King, um, Brandon Scott said that, you know, we exaggerate. This is not, you know, we, they're really just, they're just saying that, but it's really not happening Seven year old like King got shot in well, the um, well, listen. Titty, um, in the, um, in the yeah, stomach yeah, twice. Yeah. She's okay now, I believe, right? Yeah. She's okay now. Well, thank around you, my way, there was a barricade. Man killed his uh, wife and barricaded himself in the house. Did I get wrong? Um, on yeah. Woodyear Street, uh, another seven-year-old little kid got shot there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, all these gun these gun things are taking place. All this violence is taking place with this man. And let me tell you what's happening. You see, again, we got a weak man. I keep telling y'all, he's enjoying good times, but he's a weak man. And he's now starting to bring in these weak uh, these situations. Weak yeah, yeah, King, again. You know, because uh, yeah, all he yeah. do is sit around and talk about how Damn. crime is going down because he has tunnel vision. He's Damn. looking at Man. the murders because the murders have gone down and because everybody was talking about the wow. murders. And his thing is, well, the murders have gone down. Yeah, but carjackings went up. 
41 violent carjackers. Okay. These are not just uh, what these are violent carjackers. King, these are Mug not juvenile. Listen, muggins. King, remember I'm we talked about the old school word. King, muggins. Remember we talked about that before, King, about yes. certain when somebody pull a gun out on you, this is not just a standard crime. It's this not a regular this, crime. This is not stealing a lollipop from the store down the street. Yeah. You have basically horrified me bringing a gun out on me just for my vehicle. Again, uh, King. Home we, invasions. King, uh, uh, we got we, about a couple minutes. Yeah. Go ahead, King. Go ahead, I'm King. just telling you that yeah. every every metrics of crime is up yeah, with King. the exception of murder. And again, please, I'm going to put an asterisk next to it because I said this last year when they started telling uh, it, it went down. King. Man, listen, we still have well over 260 murders in the city. King, they put a rapist in school. Again, King, they well, put that was two, Vincent Sharon. Two, two of them. King, that's Vincent King, Chiraldi. They put two rapists in school. Well, that's Vincent Chiraldi. Known the rapists. Well, that's Actually, Vincent Chiraldi and, and, and Wes Moore. You know the that strategy is, that Vincent did? Yeah. He actually did the same strategy that the Catholic churches used to do when they cut a key, uh, uh, they caught yeah. one, and they would ship them to another zone. Yeah, yeah. Ain't yeah. that what? They, 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 they the would ship, you, they would yeah. ship the priest to another zone? Yeah, is the, this what Vincent doing? This is exactly what he's doing. He took these kids from another zone and that who? Hard fired and, and messed up some children, male or female, I don't know, and put them in another school. And then basically and came out. And didn't tell them what was going on with and this And came kid. out and said, well, then you should have known. And, I, huh? What? And, and, he you know, said that. And let me tell you the worstest thing. A white, one of the white ladies found out about this. Do you know that they were getting ready to arrest her because she was out front of the school saying that you are supposed to tell us about this? She was going to yes. get locked up for that. Well, you saw what happened to the people, to, to them ladies wow, when King. they complained about BG&E. They King. called the mayor, and, and she, I'm using her King. words, we called the mayor, and he sent the, he sent the police. He said, yeah, King, a uh, King, again, I say, King, uh, they got a commercial out about these books, again, book banning thing. Oh, uh, book ban. Now the book ban is going, they're going to stop you from learning knowledge and stop you from learning knowledge. Well, well I don't... I don't understand. I understand about the book ban, but my thing, well, I wanted to bring that up, um, King, because um, it was a black guy on there, and he was talking about diversity. Mm. And he had the big dreads and he big black guy, mm. but basically, he wasn't talking about knowledge. No. He wasn't talking about that they stopping you from learning engineering. No. They're taking engineering books out uh -uh. there. He basically said diversity. And what was he talking about? Agendas, uh, LGBTQ. Yeah, the LGBTQ See, agenda, agenda for, 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 your, for your public education. For your public education. Yes. See, that is adult stuff to me. It is. That is a stuff. Now, again, I say to the LBG community. Yeah. They try to weave it into sex education. To the LBG it. community, can y'all please stay away from children? To the gay community, can you please stay away from children? Because usually people who mess with children were labeled what? Pedophiles. Huh? Pedophiles. People who gave children bad rhetoric, King. But now they changed that name to uh, yeah. minor attractive people. You, you heard what they said. People who gave bad rhetoric to children were named pedophiles. Yeah. Freaks. Now they changed the Monsters. name. Monsters. They changed the name to minor attractive people. And now you're giving this monstrous rhetoric to our children. Yeah, Nambler. So I'm going to give you some more names. Nambler, the National Association for Boy Lovers of America. Jesus Christ, King. Man boy. Man boy. Man, man boy. Yeah. <laughs> See? The, the, these things exist. Good. I'm not making it up. Hey, man, King. I, King, I think King I always hold say. On, bro, hold on a second, Brother Bob, and I'm not making it up. No, I always no, say, sir. brother, I always no. say, brother, about uh, how, you know, we here, we try here at WFR all the time on that. We try to bring a little shock treatment, education, and awareness to our folks, man. Well, you we want I mean? them to be. Educated. Educated, yeah. yeah, we want them to yeah they, they're taking books out of the school. Oh, oh they're going to stop you from learning black history. LBGQ so now, and gay is, is not black history. It could be history, but it ain't black history. You get me, King? Well, you got to understand. It's the, history. During the I civil rights era, that it was woven. I did in. not wipe it, it out was, of history, King. I know, but it was woven in. To the, the, to, to the, the civil, civil rights, rights movement. Yes, they, yes, along they with, the, in, they along with the feminist movement and everything else. It was almost else. like one of those bills they passed this week for Ukraine and Russia and uh, well, remember, Israel, huh? Remember, <laughs> I, remember, I said that at least 10% of yeah, yeah. every package that they passed to go to a foreign aid, 
At least 10% of that should come back to us. Check wise, cash wise. Cash wise, it should go to. Hold on, let me rephrase that because I know people would take that and run with it. No, when I say check come back to us, I mean come back to the social programs that they're touting that they want to put out there, their wraparound services, so that we won't have to pay for it. You know, I'm going to be honest though. Let me tell you about this wraparound services real fast. We're going to get out of here in a little bit. But the wraparound services do not apply for everybody. Not at all. The man that has a, the guy that working at um, McDonald's and he trying to take his family off of that McDonald's money, and he can make it. He can get a, he can. He has uh, to work two he, jobs. But no, but he can, he can at least maintain an apartment can rain, and yes. put food on the table for his family. Yeah. All right. But now, King, you know, he's not even going to be able to do that. No. Well, I mean, he's not even going to be able to do that. And then I went all the way down to the norm, the smallest labor part I could go. Yeah. Almost in a sense. You fast know food. No disrespect to fast food work, because I was yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you can live a, you can live a good life off of it. Yeah, we live you know, it's all about your mentality and what sure. you do. Yeah. You got to have some class with you. That's a mean hustle. King, when I said you got to have some what with yourself? Class. Class with your damn yeah. self. Excuse my language, King. Again, thank you, brother. Here, Deputy FBR King, Al Shock Treatment, man, worst man again. King, they still touting that stuff on the air. Yeah, they I still heard on the stuff. down low, King. On the down low, they send their spies out. They touting out what the Tyrone now was talking about the real people with the boots on the ground. Cause see, I live right off Rice Town Road. Ah, see what I'm saying, King? Where you live right off of, King? Yeah, yeah. Carry Street. Carry Street. Yeah, see, 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 see what I'm saying? So, so, so. Now I ain't over in so, Elkridge, Maryland, talking about Baltimore is from Elkridge, Maryland. Uh, no, I live right here in Baltimore. Right, boots on the ground. Yeah, right see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, and I said before a couple of shows in uh, Southwest that Baltimore. Where these folks really should not down. be running Baltimore if you won't lived in Baltimore. Yeah. We should not be an official of none of our joints if you ain't. How can you be the superintendent of Baltimore schools and you came from um, Missouri? You live, you live in Kings Village. Yeah. I mean, Kingsville. King, we ready to let Brother Don get on in here yeah, like you always do with the city. Y'all going to give it to us the same way, pretty much. You know what I mean, uh, man? Um, thank you to all people. Donations are welcome here. Man, um, you send know. Send it to the station. Send it to the station. How do you need to do it, man? But donations are welcome here, man. Um, keep this message going, man. Mommy loves it. I love when Mommy calls in, King. I told you about the power wall, but my granddaughter was supposed to call in. She has a great parade downtown today, y'all. And, um. I would hope that uh, Mr. King drop down there and probably see Lil Sinai jumping around, doing the parade and everything, guys. Love y'all, man. Thank you, King. Thank you, everybody. Good weekend.